Alrighty guys, today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at how to make copies and repeat your job for the current plot uh, feature. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. And now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini-series on the cut and plot feature. Now, we'll leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, when it comes to the copies and um, repeat, obviously, we'll do this in our cut and plot feature, which can be found here on our main toolbar, or oh, sorry, standard toolbar, next to the print setting. It's a little icon there, and you can also just hit Control plus L to open it. You know, once we in here, I'm just going to set the scale of this down a bit just so that we can see the um, copies, how it looks like. Oh, I'll just set it. So I'm just going to go to my job size. I'll maybe set this to strike 50%. Yeah, I think that might work. Strike about 45 maybe. Okay, now under the actual copies, as you can see, here, we've got the amount of copies and then we've got these two settings here, which is the horizontal and vertical spacing. So now if we increase the amount of copies, you'll see it adds it. And as um, it gets to the border, it'll just flip it to the next window or to the next, um, should I say, open space. And then we can always adjust the horizontal spacing here. Something that fits rather snug. And then you can do the same with the vertical. And then, yeah, it's rather simple. You know, obviously, depending on your material size, if it was a bit bigger, um, then you could also just increase the amount of copies. Let's make that about 55. Then you can always just go and we add maybe three more. And that is how you make copies in your um, program. Like a just quick recap, you've got the amount of copies and then you've got the horizontal and vertical spacing. And then under that, we can find the repeat job. So if we select this, then we can choose how many times we want to send it to the um, the, the actual production manager. So this will, at the moment, we'll be sending it three times. So we'll make three copies of this entire project. And yeah, so that is also rather simple. And then um, next up, we're going to be looking at these settings, but we'll do that in another video as there's quite a few different uh, things to look at. Otherwise, under softwaretraining.co.za, you guys can... Um, find the videos we make here also we have a variety of different softwares to do cover and you can isolate your search on the top right if you guys um, are looking for anything specific though you can always go here request a training video then we will make that video for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers